friends, on this beautiful day, we welcome you here as we have an opportunity to worship and to celebrate the coming together of love. We're so glad you could join us. We respectfully ask if you haven't done so yet, please check your cell phones, because if yours goes off, you have to buy the first round at the reception. <laughs> <laughs> friends, you may be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man, Philip, and this woman, Caitlin, in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the love of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. And I require and charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith each to the other. Be well assured that if these solemn vows are kept inviolate as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, will grant you fulfillment in it, and will establish your home in peace. Philip, will you have this woman, Caitlin, to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her? in sickness and in health. And forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her as long as ye both shall live. If so, will you answer, I will. I will. And Caitlin, will you have this man, Philip, to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him as long as ye both shall live. If so, will you answer, I will. And who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Yes. I'll invite Amanda to come forward at this time to share a scripture reading. Solomon, chapter 8, verses 6 and 7. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, passion fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If one offered for love all the wealth of one's house, it would be utterly scorned. Philip, would you repeat after me? I, Philip. I, Philip. Take you, Caitlin. Take you, Caitlin. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. To death do us part. According to God's holy law according to God's holy law. And there too, and there too, I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. And Caitlin, would you repeat after me? I, Caitlin. I, Caitlin. Take you, Philip. Take you, Philip. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And there too. And there too. I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. And we have Maggie for the second scripture reading. Come together. Yeah. Okay. A reading from First. 
Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will see. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three. And the greatest of these is love. Friends, the wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the church of Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Would you take that please? <laughs> Got it. You would repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring, with I this, be wed. With this ring, I be wed. Okay, I have to do a as Philip and Caitlin have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together. No one can tear apart. Let us pray. O oh God, creator of eternity, preserver of life, giver of all grace, the author of eternity. Send your blessing upon this man and this woman whom we bless in your name, that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together, and live according to your laws. O God, look graciously upon them, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace. And friends, I would invite you to join with me in the prayer our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen. God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor look upon you and so fill you with love and grace that you may know life joyously here and life eternal, eternal with him. Amen and amen. Oh, it's official, I